Hello everybody, welcome to Hook Hook Crochet. Welcome to my yarniverse over here, all my yarn. Um, so today I got a notification that my package came that I ordered from a company called Denise. And I will link their website in the comments. And so instead of doing the whole unboxing like everybody else does, because right now at this time, you need gloves, you need to open the package outside, you need to throw it, the outside packaging, and then come inside, take off your gloves, wash your hands, all that jazz. So after that, then I said, let's go and show all my friends. So I'm gonna get my husband to zoom down so I can show you what I got. I'm so excited. I've been wanting these for months, and I wasn't sure when I was going to get them and then when all this stuff was going on and all these people are out of work and I was thinking about the small businesses I thought well now would be a good time to patronize a small business so that's what I did I bought these from a small business they're in well, what what does it say Virginia Charlottesville Virginia Ooh, I wonder if the weather's warm there all right, so let's see what we got. These are Tunisian hooks. And I got these because I want to venture out in my crochet skills and learn how to do some Tunisian crochet. Okay. All right, so we got a coupon. Coupon for, oh, that's 15% off with the code. So I won't show that on camera. So I'll keep that to myself. And this note says, oh, it says, your health and happiness are important to us. Our one woman packing department sanitized her hands before filling your order. Wishing you good health and very happy yarn crafting. That was nice. Oh, that's, I, I appreciate that. Um, actually, I did get an email that said that. That's how I knew it was safe for me to handle these right away. Otherwise, I think you're supposed to let your stuff sit in the sun for 24 hours. But these are, I mean, she put that note in there. I, I, I trust her. I mean, I'll wash my hands after I handle this stuff anyway. And I don't very much touch my face. Okay, so these are... I guess the ex well, extension cords, do you put them in there? That's if you want to make a long afghan. What else is in here? Okay, some more extension cords. Anything else? No. Oh, I hear something. Okay, there's tabs for the ends. And then one one more extension hook. So I guess this would this would be the longest if you want to make a big afghan. Because with Tunisian, you have to gather a whole bunch of loops on the hook at one time. Could be anywhere from 20 to 30 to 40 loops before pulling all the way in. Okay, so there's different sizes here. What is this? This looks like an... nine millimeter that's the biggest i'm going backwards here this one is let's say eight millimeter this is a k 6.5 um this this is an i and no that's a J. I'm sorry, because this is a nine right here. And I'm guessing this is a five of oh, an H. So I got this set because these are the sizes I use the most in crochet. Um, there were several packages. Um, you could get three at a time, I think. And then you could get like all these elaborate packages with 
the smallest crochet hook size to the largest. Um, but you have to go on their website. They have a very nice website and they look like they do do well for themselves as a business. And then of course these are the end the stopper so all your loops don't fall off. Have any of you tried cro uh, Tunisian crochet? I bought this yarn from Hobby Lobby. It's a it's a lightweight number three. It's called Must Be Merino. It's uh, in the color teal. And this one is $5.99. And what, let's see, 227 yards. It's 50% merino, 25% acrylic, and 25% nylon. And the recommended hook size is G6. So according to one of my friends, she said, so it recommends four millimeter hook size and crochet. So if you're doing Tunisian crochet, what you wanna do is you bump up two millimeters. So that means I would need a six millimeter Tunisian crochet hook. I, at first I didn't understand why, but I guess when, when you're doing Tunisian, because you're gathering all those loops at one point, it gets it gets tight. So you wanna you want a bigger crochet hook. So with this one, I would use the J. Where is the J? Where is the J, y'all? This is the J. So this would go with this. I started a little bit because I was using my friend's um, Tunisian hooks, her Denise hooks, and I. I did okay. I think I could do a little bit better. Honestly, when I was doing this, I was with a bunch of my yarn lady friends and we get to talking and I don't really pay attention to my counting. So then that means that my work, it shows in my work. So with Tunisian, I think for me, I have to um, be by myself so I can concentrate a little bit better. But, so that's my Tunisian hooks. What do you think? So I just would like to know if any of you have tried Tunisian, what you think of it. Do you, what kind of hooks do you use? And don't forget to hop on the website, Denise. I will link that in the description box and um, let me know. And don't forget to come back and subscribe, hit the like button, so on and so forth. Bye.